Welcome to an Octopath Traveler Champions of the Continent, Odette Review. Odette is one of my favorite characters in the game. She's currently an S tier within the Japanese version. Although she has a 6.89 score in the global version, she has been wrecking havoc for my Wind and Light team since her release. Odette has one very good trait called Wind and Light Augment 5. This trait provides her with a 30% rise in wind and light damage. Her second trait allows for a chance at a follow-up skill. However, I would suggest disabling this trait due to the fact it can cause an early break of your opponent. Her ultimate skill is a wind-based elemental attack that has a damage potency of 600. At level 10, however, I would suggest leaving her ultimate skill at level 9 and not spending the Awakening Stone. Odette's main skills include a random foe three times elemental attack that will lower the respective element resistance by 15% for two turns with each successful hit. You can stack these resistance down debuffs with the likes of Varkin and Lars, resulting in the cap of 30% resistance down. Her skill set also include a single foe, 260 potency attack for both wind and light elements. Her A4 accessory does provide a 15% wind and light resistance debuff. However, I would not recommend spending the required rubies or awakening stone shards to obtain this. Odette does have an exclusive accessory. While the SP recovery is nice, the other stats are lacking. My suggestion for awakening Odette would be stopping at A1. Although A2 would be a nice convenience with having to not swap skills when using her on a different team. Overall, I believe, if you have a chance to pull on Odette you should. She makes for a great wind and light damage and debuffer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Also feel free to provide a comment with your thoughts on Odette. Thank you and we'll see you next time. Before I stop the video here, is some recent footage I captured using Odette.